Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Mentor Asia Pacific. Here we are at UOG at the Agriculture Building. Um, some of you might recognize this classroom, might not. This might be a future classroom for some of you. Today we have a lovely mentor with us today. This is Aliana. I don't know what she wanted me to introduce her as, yeah. so we're going to stick with Ali. Yes. Okay, so this is Ali. Uh, we're going to get into her story in just a little bit. All right, so I want to share one thing that most people might not know about you. Um, one thing is that I kind of come off like really silly and sometimes people like assume like I'm ditzy or fun but I'm actually like a really hard working person and I'm very self-sacrificing. Um, I really hate it when people don't give 110% so I always try my best like with every small project or big project or like one person or multiple people, like I give my whole self to them. So that's what I do, guys. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so what's your story? Share something about yourself and kind of where you're at today. Um, so I guess like why I'm here today is to talk about like why I'm good, like a good mentor, or like why people would want to choose me. And I associate myself with being an artist and. It's always been like a dream of mine to even like say that out loud, like, oh, I'm an artist. I'm not the best, but I believe that someday I'll get to like a credible standard. But I've been drawing for a really long time. The generic answer is I've been drawing since I was a kid, but professionally, I've started to 2013. So I don't know how long. That's a lot of math for me. About five years. Five years, there you go. Math teacher, that's why, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so five years and um, basically it was super hard to like catapult myself into the art scene here on Guam. I tried to get into like GACs, I tried to like ask people to host me and it just kind of fell through. So one day I was like, who said I couldn't throw my own art show? So. I gathered a bunch of like novice, not novice, but like girls who have never been in an art show and I said let's do this and we're going to call it The Gallery and it's going to be an all female show and we're going to do it on our terms and it was successful and we were lucky enough to have a second one so it's really cool. We're hoping to have more and more to come. So. That's where I'm at right now. So being an artist, um, mm -hmm. there's always going to be this connotation that there's always going to be a struggling artist. Yeah. Where it's hard to get there. So is that kind of true? What are some of the struggles that you might have gone through? Um, yeah, you know, like you always hear, you're right, like people are like, oh, I'm a starving artist or something. And sadly, that is true, guys. Being an artist is a very expensive hobby. But I feel like when you believe in yourself, like and you stylize yourself, you become almost irreplaceable in the art scene. And then people will lift you up and like they will support you. Like I always thought like I couldn't be anything, like my art is not like, you know, like Monet standard or Van Gogh, but I really force myself to like hone in on my style to where I have like a niche group of people who are like, oh yeah, that's my style. Like, I like that. And those people support, like they buy my merchandise, mm -hmm. they pay me for art. So it's not always struggle all the time. Mm -hmm. There is struggle, but it's like necessary. Okay. Yeah. Right so an artist and, so we're in the agriculture building yes. here. So why or how is that link there for you at art and agriculture? Um. So that's a really good question because I really love agriculture and I really love art and to me agriculture is like a form of art but more than that it's a form of caring. When you're an artist you take care of your work and it's just like being an agriculturalist is taking care of your plants, caring if they're sick, wanting to know why they're sick and I feel like they correlate together in my mind because I care so much for both of those things and yeah it's just a lot of hard work drawing it's a lot of hard work taking care of plants it's just as hard as taking care of people because they don't talk to you sometimes signs don't show up sometimes mm -hmm. symptoms don't show up so it's like gotta pay attention to them. yeah right on so choosing agriculture and art I know those are you've seen the path that mm -hmm. kind of links them both together so definitely there are probably people that pushed you or inspired you to be that way or yes. to choose that route. So you want to name some of those mentors and how they might have pushed you to become that? 
my grandparents have sacrificed like so much for me and they've always taught me like when you do something you want to do it with like all of your being because like that's going to stay there after you're gone and like people are going to learn from that so I really think my grandmother and my grandfather like they pushed me like I lost my grandfather at the beginning of the year so he pushed me to get like really serious about graduating from college and like just like doing it man, mm -hmm. being in it, yeah. Okay. Every single person I meet is like makes me a better person and I feel like every part of a person that I know inspires me like I can think about like a memory that I love so much like that I had with specific people even like people that I've met like maybe in the last three months mm -hmm. maybe like last week like those people like play such a big influence in me and like people in general just are really great inspirations because everyone's so different and interesting and hearing their story is like it's like empowering to hear someone's okay. story so if you were going to give someone advice about being an artist or how to fight through the struggles that mm -hmm. you went through and being an artist and putting on your own show what advice would you give um i have three okay. rule of thumb one is it is totally okay for people not to like you. It is totally fine to be rejected. It is like awesome <laughs> to be rejected because you know why? Like in the end, you're gonna find people who like love you mm -hmm. and like people that invigorate you. Like, come on, keep doing it, don't give up. And like, it's totally okay if you're those people like tell you like you're not good or anything because there are going to be more people who are going to tell you that you're great. Mm -hmm. And another one, the second one is that don't care if people say you're trying too hard because I feel like when you try really hard, you really care. And there is definitely nothing wrong with caring a lot about something. If people tell me like I'm a try hard or like, oh, why are you going off the extra mile? It's a super compliment to me because it shows like me working hard is like, like correlating to you like, oh, she's working so hard. Why? Because I care. And like, you should not feel bad about trying hard. And the last one is like, always tell the people around you that you love that you love them because you'll never know when you get the, when it's the last chance to say it, or even if it's like tiring to them, just. Mm -hmm. Always appreciate those around you. And those are my advices. Right so last one. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna project a little bit since I know okay. I heard that you're about to graduate in a little bit. Yes. Okay, so let's project a lot further. Let's say ten years down the line. Okay. What is Allie doing ten years down the line? I hope wow. Ten years. Ten years. So I've only thought about three years <laughs> from now. Yeah. Twenty twenty eight. Like a dream, like Let's not, let's not make it a dream. dream, let's make it yeah, a reality. reality. Let's, let's I would push like it. to have like my own studio, I guess, yeah. like art studio where people can come in and do art. I want to teach art too, but like with my ag degree, I would love to like work in like research fields and labs and like come up with like better disease management for like sick plants or like trees and stuff like I really think that's really important aftercare so I hope to see myself like man that would be great if I would be a doctor like a plant pathologist can you imagine that I know that seems super boring but it's a lot you know? cooler than you guys think it's super scary guys like right on. so we're gonna hopefully see her in 10 years as Dr. Ali yes Dr. and Ali. also have her own art studio where she mentors other artists. This has been a great episode for Mentor Asia Pacific. Both for me guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> Signing out. Bye. Thanks guys for tuning in to Mentor Asia Pacific. Once again, I'm Avin Sangha. Check out all our social media that's going to be linked down below. Stay tuned, more mentors are going to come. Uh, we're going to be releasing a mentor every week. And please, please leave a comment down below for any mentors that you'd like to be featured on the channel. Any business professional, entrepreneur, or anybody that you believe is inspiring and can provide to be a mentor for the youth of Guam. Till next time, thank you very much. Sangha out.